Hey guys, um, I'm way too tired to actually put each of these guys in a photo tank and take pictures of them individually. And I also wanted you guys to see what kind of variety I got out of my very first ever book hot spawn. Um, I took a long time picking um, the sire and the dam of this spawn, or mother, father, male, female, whatever, of this spawn. Um, so anyway, I kind of like the results that I got. I got um, dark bodied reds, as you can see this, I mean these guys were just, they were in the grow out maybe two weeks ago. I think they're only like 15, 16 weeks old. Um, so I got dark bodied reds, you can see that I, they have um, black edges on the scales, which is a fault, so is the white ventral tips and the um, the black edging on the fin. I'm not showing any fish that I'm planning on showing. I only picked out a couple for that so far. Um, I also got light bodied reds. If this guy would show himself. He started out Cambodian and has been slowly accumulating color on his body. Um, you can see that the coverage on his head isn't full yet, but I'm pretty sure it will get there. Um, and then I got these really awesome dark bodied yellows. Um, the, cup, the light actually isn't helping him too much. Maybe if I shine a flashlight on him. But the yellow is really intense. And if you look at the father, you can see that he managed to pass on his intense yellow. And I really like actually the black edging on his body because I don't know, um, one of the judges will have to chime in, but maybe he could show as a bicolor. And all of the yellow males, except for one in this spawn, um, have this exact coloration, so it's very consistent. And, uh, yeah. Um, and especially on the yellows, I really like that, um, the ray splitting on their caudal is only two. It only splits into two on most of them, and they're still able to get a full 180 degree spread. Um, the females are not quite 180, but um, they certainly carry the genes. Um, so all the females out of this spawn will carry yellow, um, because their father was yellow. And um, I'm also really happy with the lack of iridescence that I'm getting out of this spawn. You can see they're very clean and that's pretty hard to get in reds. Um, this is a male that I picked up at the last California Beta Society show. So these, um, they're all related. This is one of the famous Sieg, Illig, Sieg and Judy Illig red placots that have been tearing up the show season. Um, and I paid way too much money for him. <laughs> um, but he's one of my favorites and his traditional placot finish is where I want this line to go. Um, so hopefully I'll be taking one of the yellow females from this spawn and breeding it back to this guy. Um, I just love his form. Look at that. Um, anyway, so the mother of this spawn that I'm showing, so the mother of these guys was a cousin to this guy. And he is the son of the, I think, three-time best in show red placot from the first half of this season. Um, the father was a yellow half moon placot that I imported from Thailand. Um, bred by Pichette, I think that's how you say it, uh, from Interfish Thailand. So that's the males. Uh, give me a second while I shuffle in the females. Um, while I wait, or while I wait, you guys can, uh, oh, I don't know. Okay, sorry. Give me one second. Now these one gallon jars are kind of heavy. Okay, 
Okay, so here are some of the females that I just jarred. They're still kind of timid, I think. Um, I got maybe a quarter of the spawn was yellow, which is, um, according to Mendelian genetics, is ideal. The light is really washing her out because this is a very dark yellow female. Again, with the black edging on the scales, but if I'm going for bicolor, um, she would be ideal. I also have a couple of light-bodied yellows in the grow-out tank, as you'll see. For some reason, the yellow females were much smaller than their red siblings. Um, this is a Cambodian red female. Um, so you can see even just a week out of the grow-out tank, and she's already thinning up quite nicely. Um, I'll probably be bringing her. Um, here is a dark-bodied red female with um, very faint, um, very minimal black edging and iridescence. She's not too happy here. <laughs> um, and then here is a dark-bodied female with, um, again, minimal iridescence and black scaling. Um, I have not decided which of these females is going to be living with my grandfather in Seattle, <laughs> um, but I, I will probably be bringing um, those three or four females here. Um, I might keep the yellow. We'll see. Depends on how many people want them, I guess. So this is the grow out tank, which is not focusing for some reason. Um, I got like a dozen females in here, so I'm probably just going to pick them out and take them on Saturday. Um, I really don't have time or space to flare train them before the auction. Um, varying degrees of iridescence on these guys. Um, but again, you can see some Cambodian reds, a um, couple yellows. Uh, dark bodied reds with minimal black scaling. Everybody's favorite cockatoo cichlids came up to say hi. Um, yeah, so we'll see which one of these guys makes it. Probably maybe, I don't know, four or five um, altogether. I need to pick out a bunch to send to my grandfather because he technically financed the spawn. <laughs> But um, yeah, I think it's a pretty good, pretty good spawn. All right. Uh, good night, you guys. Hello. Good night. <laughs>